This Let's Play was supported by these awesome hobby companies. Hello everybody, I am joined by Colin from Battle Systems and today we are doing a round breakdown for Core Space. So, uh, Colin, for anyone who doesn't know what Core Space is, do you want to give them the quick rundown? Yeah, so Core Space is basically a sci-fi um, miniatures game set about 1500 years in the future and um, yeah, it's a really kind of dystopian, rundown cyberpunk um, environment and we are basically in charge of a couple of crews mm -hmm. who are going in and trying to survive while their ship is falling apart around them and we've got to salvage and generally just stay alive and just long enough to feed ourselves for the next day. You know, I'm, 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 I'm sure on the board you've set up for us here, I can find a ration pack. You know, I'm sure you or, can. Or some form of futuristic noodle bar. You've just got to get there before the purge attack, who are slowly taking over the galaxy, so mm. uh, it's going to make it a little bit more difficult. Yeah, now, one of the interesting things about this game, Colin, is you guys at Battle Systems actually do all of the terrain that we're seeing here on the table. So Correct. all the different walls, containers, you know, all the bits and gubbins that you love to see in a sci-fi world, you get with this game. Yeah, totally. So everything you see on the table comes straight straight in the, the most basic kind of core set you can get for um, core space. Mm -hmm. And because we're the terrain people, we've got loads of beautiful multi-level terrain sets that, mm -hmm. um, that we've developed a couple of years ago, but we developed those terrain sets whilst we were already designing the game, so they're fully compatible yeah. and you can really just have outside environment, inside environments, multi-level, anything you want basically. Mm -hmm. Alright, so uh, some of the key features of the game then. So we're, we're going to go through a guided round and then a, a free play round just to see if I can pick everything up in one shot. Now we have done Let's Plays of this before, but it's been a while so I'm rusty, so I may get my ass kicked here. Okay. <laughs> so okay. Uh, key features on the board that we have to remember are, so we have a threat tracker up the top here, Yep. Uh, what does this do for us? Okay, so basically with this, um, and you, when you start a game, and depending on the mission that you've got, the hostility in the area is going to be set to a certain level. Mm -hmm. um, and w the higher it gets, the more the purge start to... Because to, they're slowly taking over the galaxy. Mm -hmm. So you might come in, it's quite a low hostility. Yeah. You might have a lot of backwards and forwards with your crew. Mm -hmm. um, we'll probably be concentrating on ourselves. The higher it gets, the more devastating the purge become I as see. A, on the board. I see. And then what else we have here? So you've got one card which is going to show all the stats for the purge yep. on, in their different forms. Correct. Stats for civilians because you, you essentially have NPCs in this game, yeah? Absolutely, yeah. So you've got, you've got two basic um, uh, NPCs that come with the core game, mm. and that is the purge. They're the big threat. But you've also, it also comes with three, MP, um, three civilians as well, mm -hmm. and those civilians are, they're civilians. They do what civilians do. They wander around, they hide, they run, they attack, they get they scared. They get away. <laughs> yeah, they're getting away. They might trade with you, they might join, join with you, or Ooh, you can even persuade good. them to join you. I see. So, um, yeah. And mm. now, of course, if they do join you, you can always flip them over um, at, you know, between missions and they can become traders as well, wow. which is really cool. Yeah, then uh, on the board itself, uh, we have the lovely, lovely dashboards <laughs> that you guys designed for the game that let you actually keep your inventory, your Correct. skills, track of your health and track of your progress if you're playing through campaigns. Totally, absolutely. And of course, if you are playing through campaigns, you can update their stats, you get more skills, you can mm. you know, uh, get better equipment, more health, more actions, more skills, more fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, again, that's, that's something I love about this game is just how freeform it is and what you can do. Uh, on the table itself, so we, we have our characters, the movement is incredibly simple, which is all off this one stick here, so you can move once, twice, but you can never move beyond 11 inches, yeah? Correct. If you're, if you're utilizing skills that allow you to move or combat stims that give you multiple actions, mm. the actual move is always limited to kind of physics, I guess. <laughs> well, it, it kind of shows the, the amount of time you have between each round, between someone getting to do something. Correct, absolutely. Yeah. And then on the other side, we of course have our range, because there are guns. There are lots of guns, lots of cool guns, yeah. Yes, <laughs> I, I, I want some cool guns. Unfortunately, my guys, they don't have the best guns right now. You got a good one, couple of average ones, yeah. yeah. Well, one of them's pretty I'm poo. similar. Yeah, I'm, I'm similar. <laughs> I'm hoping to find better. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's one of the things I love about this game as well, because as you're in the, the actual game environment, you can find new equipment, so new guns, new armor, Absolutely. Uh, grenades, which are always a good time in a can. 
And even I, I if you don't, you're Warren. Uh, you, of course, yeah. But if you don't find what you want, yeah, it's still worth holding on to it because it's worth money. So yeah. after the game, you can sell that mm -hmm. to, and and use the money to buy the thing you wanted in the first place. Yeah, exactly. Uh, right. Well, uh, shall we get stuck into our our round? Okay, definitely. Yeah. All right. So what are the the phases of the round and where do we begin? Okay. We, we've set up a mid game. Yeah. Correct. Absolutely. Yeah. So we're already in. We're kind, you know a couple of couple of three rounds into the game. A mm -hmm. um, little bit of purge activity, just starting to. Uh, materialize on the board. Mm -hmm. um, the first thing you do at the beginning is the hostility um, phase. And what that means, always, every turn, without foul, unless unless an event card or something tells you to do something otherwise, you put a, a, a peg in the hostility mm -hmm. rate. So this is always going to go up, okay? Um, and then you draw an event card. So let's have a look at this event card. We have got, and we've just moved into the band of Cover Me. Mm -hmm. So uh, in Cover Me, it says, the nearest devastator to a trader makes an immediate range assault action against that trader, if possible. Um, mm -hmm. And uh -oh. we have got one, and it's yeah. you, which I'm very happy about, uh, to be fair. Um, um, so this Devastate here, first thing it's going to do, it's going to shoot you once, okay? Mm -hmm. Devastate stats tells me that it's got three combat dice, because mm -hmm. um, that's what they do best um, uh, at a ranged attack. So, now mm -hmm. I've hit you twice, mm -hmm. Jace is wearing armour, so you can negate one of those hits. So I'm going to take a point. You're going to take a point, right. because the other one gets through. So I'll take one of the pegs off my board. Definitely. Uh, one thing I do like, you've made the pegs nice and long, so you can actually get a grip on them very we, easily. We've made a lot of adjustments to the original um, the original setup uh, mm. based on just, you know, months and months and well over a year of, of testing everything. Yeah. So, um, yeah. yeah but it's, it's nice to see that care and attention to detail that's went into it. So sure. I've took a point of damage. Yep. He didn't like that. <laughs> You still got some health, okay? I do. So, uh, and actually, you've got the turn counter this round. Uh, uh, yes. I had it last round, so now it's down to you basically to make your first action. All right. So one of my guys is in pretty bad shape, Mr. Lars, who is an augmented. Uh, I I kind of got greedy last round, so let me let me run you through kind of what happens. So Lars has basically booked it up as hard as he could to get to this container because I'm hoping there might be something good in there. Unfortunately, I've took a bit of a shot from you know the entire force, which is kind of just staring at me going, what are you doing there? Well, I want what's in there, to be fair, whatever it is. Yeah, <laughs> well, the, you, you're going to have to kill me to get it, because I'm, I'm going to go for a search action. OK. And that's one of the actions you can take whenever you're in base, to co base contact with an item. Absolutely, yeah. So I get to open the container, and you've got these lovely little tokens. Let me quickly show you. These little guys here, and they tell you what different items are in there. So, oh. Yes, you have got. So I've yes. got some armor. Yeah. I've got some ammo. And I've got a commander's pistol. Which is a rare, yeah, absolutely rare item. So that's pretty cool. Why do I get the feeling Lars just became a bigger target? Yeah, <laughs> you're not wrong. <laughs> All right, now, uh, my limitation, however, is this slot here on my character sheet can only hold four of the little ones or two of the, the big tokens for items. Absolutely, or a mix. So yeah. I'm, I'm going to bin the pistol that I have. It was an okay pistol, but it's not as good as what you just picked up. It's not as good as what I picked up. Unfortunately for me. And I will take the ammo and I will take the armor. Now, I have a choice to make here. Pop that back in there and pop that back in there. It's worthwhile putting items back in here and putting it back on the board because your opponent might forget what's in there and go searching through something that you've already been hooking through. Absolutely, and we obviously, we're having a look at what was in there, but ideally you'd keep that secret from me. So exactly. I don't know whether you put something decent in there or, or yeah. not. <laughs> yeah, but now I have a choice to make. So I've, I've got two actions. Mm -hmm. I've used one to search. Correct. And now I have to choose, do I take a shot at you or do I pop that armor on? <laughs> You're allowed to pre-check your ranges? Yep, absolutely. Yeah. If you don't if you don't want to pre-check ranges, just, just agree it before the game. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, you're not in short, but that doesn't really matter for the commander's pistol. It doesn't it's anymore. Two and two. Absolutely, yeah. So yeah, I think I'll shoot your character. For You're gonna two. shoot. Okay, that's fine. Now the the weapon's also got a little icon on it, which is burst fire. Yes. So if you want, you can spend two ammo and it adds a, a one extra dice instead of spending just the one ammo. I think he's not long for this world, so let's go. You're going to do two ammo. Okay, great. Yeah. I shouldn't have told you that. Uh, no. What do I do with these ammo? Okay, so the extra one you spent can go in there, but the first shot of every round goes directly into the hostility tracker. So I the see. more noise you make, um, yeah. The, the, more the more trouble you're drawing down on yourself? Absolutely, yeah. All right, so I've now got a shot with uh, three dice. Three dice. 
Do your worst. All right. Um, okay. So, is there a difference between this blue one? Yeah, blue dice is the dice you always roll um, roll first. So basically, if it says you've only got one combat dice to roll, you always roll the blue. Okay. Um, uh, after that, all additional dice added are the red. Yeah. Okay. The, the blue's the balancer. All right. Let's see what I can get here. Oh, lovely. <laughs> Notes. <laughs> I'm very happy about that. Damn it. So you've spent. Two actions now, one to search a crate, one to shoot. Yeah. All you've got left now is an effortless action. Okay, what can I do for an effortless action? So if you're next to a door, you can press a button, you can mm. do things, specific tasks. So some, some of your equipment items have got like a little tick on it, mm -hmm. and like a medical stim, that can be used as an effortless action. It's such, a, uh, such an easy thing to do. Yeah. Um, if you don't use your effortless action to do any of those, you can make a proximity uh, uh, effortless action. That means you can move one inch. I think I will, because yeah, right I now he's that. kind of hanging himself out in the breeze, so he's just going to shimmy around to here and just be out of the way. Also, See, the, the board is gridded if you want to actually work it that way, but you've also got your measuring stick if you're going at strange angles. Correct, absolutely, without a doubt. Okay. Right, so, so that's, that's him. That's him spent. Yeah, okay. and I'll, I'll put a little token just on his character board to mark it. Right, okay. Well, I'm clearly not happy about that. So I feel some retribution is uh, is is coming. So I'm I'm going to activate uh, Ariana first. Okay, so that's this character here, yeah. Absolutely, yeah. And I am absolutely going to now. You've not got any armor, Lars, but you have just gone behind the crate, so you've yeah. got cover, which is effectively giving you uh, armor. So mm -hmm. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to shoot at Beck, who's like right in the open, just yeah. through this door right here. Yeah. Okay. Um, and I my weapon. I've got an energy pistol, which oh. has given me two dice at short or medium range. Um, so I'm going to go straight through, and uh, I'm going to do that. Oh, dearie me. So I'm going to shoot at Beck. Uh, hold on. For my first action. I have an ability. Yeah. Okay. Shall I roll the dice and see what you want to do? Uh, yeah, go for it. Ah! <laughs> two hits. Okay. What's your ability? Uh, it's so Counter it's a shot. little bullet with a, an yeah. arrow. I yeah, think I can it lets see it already. Back at you. It does, yeah. So basically, um, because I've shot you, you still have to take effect of, of what's happened there. Yeah, so, so I have no armor. You've got no armor. So, so I'm going to take two points of damage. You are indeed, yeah. Oof. Definitely. Oof. However, uh, as a reaction, that yes. skill allows you to make a counter shot uh, to I me. Will. Um, so you can, uh, before I do anything else, you can make a counter shot. So you need to spend your skill peg. Uh-huh. Absolutely. Yeah. And do I spend ammo with that? Uh, you, if you're going to fire your gun, that's what you've got to do. Yeah. yeah. So, so um, I'll do that. And yeah. my, my gun would let me burst, but I don't think I want to use my last ammo on a burst. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so um, yeah, absolutely. Um, so you've got two dice as well then. Yeah. Let's see if I can get a little revenge here. <laughs> okay. One. S one. The first hit's uh, absorbed by my armor, uh -huh. uh, and the second one, there isn't one. So uh, I'm okay this round, but don't like dear. me. I don't like getting shot. So, no. okay. So for my second action, uh -huh. I am going to, uh, I'm going to basically, I think I'm going to move into some cover here. And in fact, what I will do, I'll take cover, but I'll also go and stand next to this cargo crate here. Uh -huh. um, uh, and that will get me to there. And I've got an I, I assume effortless actions are not searching. Uh, they're definitely not, but I will use it to just tuck myself behind the cargo in uh, case you come out. So I'll have my armor save plus my cover save as well. Uh, so I'm a little bit better protected. That's a good idea. All right. Uh, so it's on to me then. Yep. Uh, all right. I think I'm going to have to go with Jace next. I, I don't like what this guy here is doing. Yes. Being right behind me. It's too much of a threat. If you don't move, he'll, will, he will attack you with both his actions at three, with three combat dice. Yeah. I'm just going to turn and shoot him. I think that's very wise. So last ammunition for him though. Okay. But it is three dice. It is three dice. Uh, you've got a machine pistol there. Good, yeah. close, close yeah. range weapon. And I, I am definitely within the, the close range. So it's just to the first doubt. line here. Perfectly in range. Come on, give me something. I'm on your side here. That's it. Two? Yeah, absolutely. So they uh, all Purge have got a basic armor of one, um, uh -huh. even, even the low lifes. So um, um, the first one is absorbed. The second one takes it off. <sighs> OK. Uh, unfortunately, I'm out of ammo now, so I think for my second action, I'm going to reload. Okay, yeah, you got a, got a, uh, an ammo mag? Yeah, yep. it says ammo 7. That's it, and that means that that's a full, if you pop that in there, that means you can reload a full 7 ammo in there. Right, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Absolutely. Right. Yep. So, 
Uh, for my, f ooh, I think I'm going to just shimmy a little bit because I don't like what I'm seeing here. So I can go an inch. Okay. So I'll just go to there. Yep. And then I'll take a little time while you're going to actually well, what, reload. What you could do, you could you could use your effortless. You've got a skill here, which mm -hmm. is a passive skill that allows you to reload your gun as an effortless action. I will so do that. If you move your character back and use yep. that um, to reload, now you've got a full action to make a do probably something. a more tactical move. Yes. Where would be good to go? Right, hang on. I have a question. Okay. So the last time we were playing, I made a request. Yeah. And I want to know if it made it into the game. Okay. Can I dive through windows yet? <laughs> you can. In fact, you made two requests, if I remember correctly. You wanted to be able to dive through windows and shoot dual pistols at the same time. Yes. Um, yeah, you can definitely do both of that. So there are, there, there are now rules for diving through windows and various other things that you might want to do. Um, okay. And you uh, you could technically dive through a window and shoot at the same time, had you enough actions. <laughs> yeah, but at the minute I can dive through a window. Uh, yes, you could use, you could uh, you could run towards a window and make a dive. It is difficult to do, it's not a regular thing. So okay. um, your success rate is not high because mm -hmm. you, know, you don't want to spend the whole game running and diving through windows to get no, around. No, no. Um, so, you know, the, the probability the is against you, move. and you'll be lying down prone on the floor next to Ariana okay. uh, with uh, a weapon that she could, um, uh, with a with a skill that allow, uh, sorry, um, an ability that allows me to discharge my entire ammo mag and 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 and, and rain oh, down five combat dice yeah, yeah. against I you. I think so, what's going to happen is he is just going to very casually <laughs> walk up to the window and look through at you. Okay, so you get a bit of cover from the window if I decide to attack you. That's fine. yes, cool. Uh, so that's him done. Yep. Who's next for you? Okay, so next, I, uh, I, I, I'm not happy about you finding that. Uh, so I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna go for do some looting of myself. Um, oh, I've lovely. been in here already, so I'm gonna go over to here uh -huh. and stand next to this cargo crate here. That's my first action. My second action, I'm gonna have a, a little look inside this cargo crate. Uh, what did you find? I have got. Uh, okay, I've got a, I've got a rifle, a better weapon, similar to the pistol that I've already got. Mm -hmm. But um, it allows me to burst fire, and I've got a higher uh, combat, um, a higher attack dice at medium range. So I'm going to take yeah. that immediately. Um, and uh, I'm okay on ammo, but I have got this target laser, which I can put onto that, mm -hmm. and that will allow me to uh, re-roll one of my dice on an attack. So I'm going to take that. Um, I'm going to leave the ammo because I've got plenty of ammo at the moment, mm -hmm. and I'm going to. I run out of space, so I'm going to pop pop that cargo crate back. I know there's ammo in it, uh -huh. so um, I can always pick it up on the way out. Yeah. All right, so. Actually, I'm gonna use an effortless action then to just give myself a little bit of cover around this side. Good idea. Yep. Mm. Uh, okay, so the last one to go for me is back. Okay. And back's not doing so good right now. <laughs> so I think what back's gonna do is gonna use an effortless action to hit himself with the stem. Okay, cool. Which will give him uh, uh, two, two health back. Correct. Takes the pressure off a little bit. Uh, just, just a little bit. That that round of shooting kind of really hurt. Yeah, you know, uh, a couple of my guys are looking a little bit gassed out here, but <laughs> I kind of have to get stuck in a wee bit. Yeah. What I can do is actually the room I'm in. I can just do a general search in it. Absolutely. Yeah. There's no enemies within that room now because you've taken the devastator out. So yeah, I'd definitely do that. Yeah, and it's just because I'm I'm kind of low on health, I'm low on skill points, and I'm low on ammo. I really don't want to overcommit right now. It might, it might open up your uh, your possibilities. It might not. Yeah, there might be an amazing laser gun of some form. Yeah, yeah. Or there could be a rubbish old hand knife or something. Uh, what I get? <laughs> um, actually, it's a pretty good uh, short sword. Okay. Oh yeah, short sword's pretty good in close combat, and you're very low on ammo, so that's not too bad. Yeah, uh, I'm unfortunately not overly, you know, abundant with health, but <laughs> not bad. I assume I have to actually mark that I've searched Pop this that room. Pop that in that room now. so that we know that that room's been yeah, searched. I'll just put it on top of the oh, top of the table. Yeah. Just so we know it. Been done. Okay, cool. Yeah. But I think that was worthwhile. Yeah, uh, you've yeah you've given yourself a second for uh, a second form of combat now. Yeah. Uh, which is really cool. Yeah, that and at the end of the day, if I get off with it, I can sell it. Yes. Oh yeah, definitely. Well, that's that's exactly it. Um, and I'm, I'm, I'm sure I can find some little tavern. Just sit myself down in the corner. You know, someone sits down beside me. Hey mate, do I buy a short sword? <laughs> When you finish, you'll get to choose which particular shop you want to go to based on the type of weapon you're going to buy. Ah. Uh, and that's where you'll buy all of your stuff from. So if ah. you're looking for weapons, mm -hmm. ranged weapons, you'll pick that 
you know you won't be able to pick up very good armor or anything there but mm. you'll be able to get some really cool weapons maybe I that see. maybe that that'd be one of your choices uh, honestly i'm thinking armor is god okay so you'll probably want to visit armorite which is the real kind of place to pick up all the yeah. cool armor but that that's back done okay and so it's no down to you yeah and i'm thinking i'm thinking gak wants to shoot shoot somebody so i'm going to uh now gak's got an energy rifle um which is two dice at medium range mm. um the only person i've got here without moving uh, as a target is Lars. So yeah. I'm going to take a shot at Lars first of all oh with dear. two combat dice. Uh -huh. um, and I'm going to spend my ammo. Uh -huh. um, and uh, actually I didn't do that with Ariana either so I forgot about that. There we go. Let's. Uh, uh, oh, two dice. I'm quite happy with that. Uh, the first one is to, to get hit, it by the cover. Yeah, it hits the crate. The second one hits you oh, down to on one. one yeah, see, this is this is this is what it's about. Okay. Um, now I've still got two actions. Do I take a shot again, or no? no I, it's not one action because you shot. Um, or did you get a free shot? No, no. Sorry. Yes. What did I say? Two actions. Yeah. yeah so I've still got one action. Okay, I've got one action me. and an effortless action. Yeah. Um, I could. I could. Yeah. I'm going to. I'm actually going to use my second action to move into cover here uh -huh. um, and see what you're going to do. And I'm going to kind of leave my effortless action, okay. just floating. Uh, so that's all of mine activated, all of yours activated. Yep. What's the next step of a round? Okay, so basically the next thing we need to do is we need to activate, bring on and activate the purge. So bring on the purge. Um, looking at the hostility tracker here, yeah. um, we can see that in Cover Me, we uh, I'm going to actually just place two harvesters in a direction. So I'm going to use the chance dice, which has got uh, D6 markings on it as well. So first of all, I know that two harvesters are going to appear at six so if we find six oh it's such a shame no uh, i'm quite happy about that um and then next down is the devastators mm -hmm. um of which we had one on but you took off yeah uh, i need to roll a dice with these to decide whether they're coming or not so they do yeah we've got one devastator coming on at five way back here which is a little bit of breathing room um, I don't know there's a civilian that's not going to be too happy sitting uh, right here. Ah, right, yes, there is that as well. Okay. Um, and then we have got, um, then we're going to roll for the assassin. We haven't uh -huh. got an assassin on the board, so see what's happened with that. There's okay. an assassin at six. Oh, God. Wow, this is going to be, I'm really happy about this uh, for, 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 for my purposes. Um, and then the only th the only thing left to do is to discover whether there's a live one. Okay. Uh, we're just going to roll the chance dice, and basically, if it lands on a live one result, then the live one will um, will uh, will come out. So. Okay. And it doesn't come out, so that's fine. Okay. okay. So that's all good. We're all kind of safe at the moment. Nothing, mm. you know, the big bad bosses hasn't arrived yet to clear up, so we're uh, we're kind of yeah. all right. Assassin's a little bit of a worry though. So now they're on the board. I'm going to activate the purge, um, uh -huh. the NPC purge. Uh, uh, starting with the highest rank, which is the assassin. assassin yeah. Okay, so the first thing the assassin's going to do is if he can reach you in one turn, he's going to make a close combat attack. Mm -hmm. um, you're the nearest target, I think. Uh, uh, Jace is closer. Jace, okay, so Jace, so he can't reach you and make an attack in the same round, so he'll make his move, but he will always do the most aggressive thing. He'll try and attack you, so yeah. he's going to make one move and take a ranged attack. It's not as, it's not as powerful, but it will. Um, it will uh, allow him to attack you. So he's going to roll two dice, and he's going to get two hits. Uh, Armor Jace, takes out one. Uh, you're fine. Yeah, that's it. You can take that. Take that on the chin. Well, I've, I've, I've kind of got baby don't hurt me no more running in my head. <laughs> you're all right. You should have died through that window. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I, I, see, see what happens when I don't die through the window. <laughs> see, if you die through the window, you might have ended up prone, but being prone on the other side would have given you full cover, so you wouldn't be able to be targeted. <laughs> he would have just shot Beck anyway, so... Uh, Okay. Well, then Beck would have taken two from that, which he, he possibly might have done. could have been worse. Okay, um, so that's the assassin done. We have got a, uh, a devastator yes. on the board who's going to shoot at the civilian. Uh -huh. uh, so let's see what happens here. Okay, so that was uh, a very unlucky for his first shot. The luckiest civilian in the world. Let's. Um, uh, yeah. But he's he will take a second shot. Okay. So the devastators' actions are actually linked. Mm -hmm. um, if they can't if they can't attack, they'll move. But they they can't move and fire. They can't fire. They have to uh, and move. They have to right. do the same thing. And so, I assume civilians have no cover. Uh, well, or no armor. Uh, we, one one of the civilians, uh, Kiori. Where, where's Kiori? Uh, she's over in here. She's uh, actually she, although she hasn't got armor, she is uh, she gets a save of uh, one like armor because she's so agile. She ducks and dodges okay, out she's the way. Dodgy. She's 
he's the yeah, yeah the young agile uh, teenager. So um, okay, so uh, second attack for the Devastator. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, this guy is super lucky. Okay, uh, that's fine. I'm, 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 guessing, I'm guessing the Devastator is still booting up. Uh, he, I, he just He's obviously coming. He's not sure what's going on. He's still not co fully connected to the hive mind. I don't know. <laughs> so, um, yeah. It happens, it happens, this, you know, this is, this is what happens sometimes. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, right, so, so they've all gone. That's oh, no, it. Sorry, the, the, no, no, no. That was the devastator. So uh, we, all we've got left is the the, um, the harvesters. Yeah. So here and here. Absolutely. We've got two over here that came in. So these guys are basically going to just move towards. Uh, well, actually, it's going to be Jace. Yeah. Uh, I think for both of those. Absolutely. And then the guy up the back. The guy up the back is basically going to. He can't actually um, see. Yeah, he oh, can. He can. He can see. Yeah, that's direct. So he's going to move directly towards straight line. Mm. Boom. Okay. And so they only get one action compared to... They do. They only get the one action. Um, mm. If they make base contact, though, they've got an ability called First Strike. Uh -huh. uh, so they get effectively a free attack. So yeah. they won't progress through the board as quick as some of the others, but okay. they build up. They build okay, like zombies. So They'll build up on you. <laughs> live one, Assassin, and Devastator gets two? Uh, yes, they all get two actions okay. as well. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Uh, next phase, then. Okay, so now that we've resolved the uh, the purge, we're on to the uh, civilians, of okay. which we've got three civilians on the board. Yes. Okay, so um, first thing, let's uh, have a look at Kiori over here. Okay. Okay, so she is she's going to trade. Uh -huh. So trading, if there's a character within line of sight of her, she will uh, a trader. Sorry, she will move towards that particular trader. Mm -hmm. um, now uh, that in this case is going to be Gak. Um, and if she makes base contact, which she easily will, she will actually trade with mm -hmm. Gak, um, which gives. Um, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll find out what she's holding on to, basically. Yeah. So I'm going to just grab one of these. And I have got ship parts. Okay, so. Um, Ship parts are kind of useful. I c they will not help me on this particular mission right now, mm -hmm. but but um, your ship uh, between missions degrades and falls apart, and you have to spend credits actually mm -hmm. repairing it. So if I if I can hold on to this uh, and get it back to my ship, yeah. um, I can basically repair and upgrade my ship using these ship parts. So I've got space. Um, I have to give up something uh, to her, though, because it's a trade. So um, And I've got this this baton here which, <laughs> which oh i was hoping you were going to give up your rifle uh, of course yeah uh, now because gak is such a big beast of a quell alien he's got four arms yeah. uh, he's powerful in combat they're warrior race um he has uh, got a natural on his actual card a natural close combat attack of two anyway mm. so i really don't i'm, I'm really i'm really going to just get rid of this uh, mm. so i'm going to make the trade and that pops into uh, Kiori's little armor slot, and I'm going to take that and put that in my tray. And I'm assuming the the other slots are empty because we don't know if they're carrying anything until they try to trade with us. Until they trade with us, or if they if you persuade them, or they naturally through the chance dice join your crew, mm -hmm. you'll instantly get a reveal of what they might be carrying. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, let's give Butler a go. See what he's doing. Okay. So. Wow, okay, so, do you know what? This is that is a good or a bad symbol? <laughs> That's a bad symbol, okay. Um, and might explain why that Devastator, Devastator didn't actually manage to hit him. Right. Um, this uh, basically means that because the hostility level is, level is in cover me, uh -huh. um, that, that uh, if the live one result comes up whilst uh, on a civilian uh, yep. action, they will turn into a live one. So we're going to replace the live one. This civilian was a live oh. one in disguise. The live ones have got holographic cloaks, well, basically. I can find it. So Both holographic and weapons. <laughs> yeah, okay. That changes the dynamic of the game a little bit. I think it's time to run. It, yeah, I think you might be right. Um, but, uh, for me, anyway, you're you're kind of okay. I'm kind of loving the, the pressure that you're under because it takes the pressure off of me. Um, however, um, uh, we've still got Ganique over here. So yeah. we're going to roll for Ganique as well. Um, and Ganique, uh, rather thematically, is going to go and hide. Um, so what Ganique will do is he will, if, if he can make it into cover, mm -hmm. he will take some kind of cover from uh, this harvester. He's not quite in, um, in, in, in move distance of the harvester, otherwise he would have moved anyway. Mm -hmm. So he's going to move and get directly behind this cargo crate here. <laughs> okay, so um, yeah, that's the civilians done. Mm -hmm. um, once the civilians are done, it's just a case of kind of 
finishing a, a wrap up of the round basically the assessment phase um, had we put any counters down for special abilities and things like that those would be removed and mm. we didn't do that but we do we do get to uh, unactivate or you know uh, and so character. start of the new round we get a new one on the threat tracker then yeah absolutely first thing you need to do is pass me the turn counter i get oh. i get the drop this time oh okay. no <laughs> oh no lars <laughs> lars <laughs> How in the hell am I going to get him from here all the way back to my ship? Because this is my ship. This is where I've docked up. I need to get the hell out of Dodge, and I'm a bit far away. <laughs> you are a little bit far away, yeah. Oh, this is such a bad time for me. So one thing in this game that I want everybody to remember is sometimes running away is the better part of Valor, <laughs> you know, because... Uh, you're going to get the drop on me. I think Lars is probably going to go down. Back's probably going to get hurt. And Jace is not looking healthy neither. Sometimes you just got to think of your crew. You've got some reasonably experienced crew there that have yeah. been for a few missions. And to replace them, it's going to be more expensive than maybe what you'd be able to find in those cargo crates and yeah. the objectives. So, um, yeah. So, uh, and besides, if I get off the board, you can keep playing. And hopefully they'll come after you and do you more damage. Correct. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. But you have the drop. I do indeed. So, um, uh, so threat goes up. If, uh, yeah, first thing you pass me the turn counter, so I've got that. The threat, threat goes, goes up. up, and we get a new event. We do. We get a new event card. So, um, we have got, uh, and we are in cover me. So, yeah. so your event cards are broken down into the different phases. Absolutely. Yeah. On each event card, basically, you've got, um, uh, or most event cards, you've got a particular. Um, a particular breakdown of the hostility. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, and because we're in cover me, I'm only going to read the cover me section. Okay. Um, each trader may make an immediate assault action against a purge character. So that's interesting. Um, each, yeah, each trader. Yeah. Uh -huh. So um, basically, if there's a valid target of the purge, uh -huh. you've got the drop. You've all had a little r bit of radio chatter. You've you've not, you've synchronised what you're going to do. So yeah. So could I move in and attack, you, or all you do can I do is to... attack. You can't move or do anything. You just get ah. free. Yeah. You've got. So if you're in combat, you get a swing. You can, or you can shoot if you've got uh, the ammo uh -huh. and you've got a legal target. Yeah, I'll go with that. Okay. So. It looks like, I mean, uh, Lars could take a shot at the uh, the live one, because uh, each each of your traders can do it. Jace yeah. can take a shot here. Um, yeah, so I think the way I'm going to do it is Jace is going to shoot one of these. Okay, yep. Uh, Beck will shoot the assassin. Okay, now the assassin's, oh, actually, got no. the assassin's got cover. Yeah, so he will shoot that, yep. and he will shoot that, and That's then Lars it. will shoot that. Yeah. Is the way I'm going to do it. So uh, okay. we'll start with Beck. He'll yep. spend his ammo. Uh, okay. Because it's the first shot of a new round, threat goes up. Straight into the threat tracker, yeah. Hostility tracker, that's it. Uh -huh. Cool. Okay, uh, so I'm shooting with two dice. Two dice, yep. And it's just against a regular harvester. Correct. Come on. It's a, yes. Yeah, it's a win. Yeah, brilliant. Well done. I'll take that. Yeah. Uh, then it's back shooting the assassin. Correct. Now the assassin's got an armor of two. Yeah, what? he's going to burst. Um, okay. Make it three dice. So this is Jace. So it's this character here. Yep. Oh, sorry. Yes, yeah, yep. so it's actually wrong. Character and pulling well, ammunition. Yeah, off. that's fine. Yeah, he doesn't have burst. But you have got machine pistol, which yeah. gives you three dice, which is important against an assassin. Yeah. So you need to score three hits. Three hits. Three hits. He's oh. got an armor of two. Okay, come on. Ah! Oh. Oh. Damn it. But you've got a chance in the. Uh, you know, this was a free attack, effectively, yeah. from an event card. Yeah. Uh, Large is going to shoot and burst at the. Live one. Okay, that's it. Which will give him three dice. Did you just spend one dice there? Uh, uh, just two, two ammo, did two you? Two ammo. Yeah, yeah I put two yeah, ammo in. You put one. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, cool. Because I have to on the burst. Yeah. So. Three dice. Oh, uh, yeah, on. you'd have to roll the maximum. You'd have to roll effectively both 50 50s and uh, a six on the blue dice. <laughs> Let's see if I can do it. Yeah. Definitely not. That wasn't going to happen. <laughs> Live but ones are notoriously it hard. It was. It was. It was worth a go. Okay, uh, and you're spent out on ammo big time now. Yeah, I really am. Except for GS, who still has some. Now, okay. is this a point where you just want to sink the toe in, or can you help? <laughs> well, I've only got uh, for my free action. Uh, I've only got one legal purge target here. Yeah, yeah. So um, tear guard is going to shoot this harvester that's wandering towards him. Uh -huh. um, he has got this rather nifty weapon that he found in the crate, which yeah. is, and I am going to absolutely use burst fire because I find harvesters can be quite. 
tricky Annoyed. to take out. Yeah, absolutely. But I've also got the target laser, so I'll get a reroll. So let's see if I need Useful it. Useful better kit. Uh, right, okay. <laughs> so actually, according to, because I've rolled two misfires, yeah. this would ordinarily cause my, um, my weapon to jam, uh -huh. which means I'd have to turn it upside down in my dashboard right. and then use an action to kind of clear the jam. Right. But I'm, so, I'm, so I don't think I can hurt this harvester now. I'm not worried about that anymore. I just don't want a jammed gun. Yeah. I'm going to use my reroll to roll this dice here. Uh. Okay, so I didn't hurt the harvester, but my reroll kind of saved me. Yeah. Okay, so uh, yeah. Bit of a waste of attack, I guess, but hey. Yeah. Okay, so... Waste of ammo. On to player turns, then. Definitely. Okay, and I've got the shot, so um, I think I'm going to actually start with tear guard and try and do that properly this time. <laughs> <laughs> you bursting again? Uh, yeah, no, I'm going to take I'm gonna take a normal shot. Okay. Okay, uh, I'm going to pop that in there, and hopefully I can take this harvester out. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so I'll remove him. Okay, so I've got an action left and an effortless action. Mm -hmm. Uh, the live one is still quite a way away and is going to be occupied by you. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to make, I'm going to make it, there's no enemies here. I'm going to make a general search action in this room here. Okay. And I'm going to... Uh, See what you that. find. Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Come on, give me something good. What have I got? Uh, ooh. Now I've got a thump knife. <laughs> thump knife. <laughs> it's a big everything, yeah. Uh, this, I'm not a fan of close combat. Yeah. I like to shoot from afar. Um, so I probably won't be using this, but turning it over, it's worth four assets. So um, universal uh, assets. But your board's full. It is. So um, I've still got maximum health. And the medi stims, they don't cost anything. So mm. you can always pick one up free before you start your next mission. So I'm going to drop that on the mm. floor where I am, and I'm going to replace it with something that's worth money. And my ship is like right here. Yeah. So, so I don't think I'm going to go down. Um, Unless you got the easy day at the shops. <laughs> um, and with that, I'm just going to make an effortless action as well as my final yeah. final move. And that's him spent out. Yeah, I get the feeling your guys are just going to start to retreat a little bit. I'm now. just going to stay in this area. Yeah. yeah, live ones on the board. Yeah. So. All right. Uh, I think my best option here is because Lars is in such a bad position, he's going to try and do the John Woo through this window <laughs> and then through this window. Okay, cool. So uh, this is Jace, is it? Yeah, uh, uh, no, 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 it's Lars. Lars is going to dive through the window. Okay. Yeah, because he's going to try and do it twice to get away from this thing. Right. Because okay, well, my thinking is from here, there's a window here and a window here. So dive and dive. Right. And hopefully uh, hit the ship. Okay, so there we go then. So, um, yeah, light jumps, diving through windows is uh, uh, an effortless action. So you need to be able to get through the window. So you're going to make a move action to do it. And when you get and the diving will, will use up your effortless action. Okay? okay, so move your character towards the window. Okay, so from where he is here, he's going to go as far as he can to here. Yeah, okay. And then you're going to roll the chance dice to see what happens. Right. And I'm going to read it out. <laughs> what, is there a chart? <laughs> Well, it's just there's there's six things that can happen here, or five things that can happen here based okay. on your result. Okay, uh, so three. three. Okay, you make it through but land badly. You are laid prone on the other side of the window. Treat this as a one-inch fall. Roll in one combat dice as damage as usual. Right, so, so he's um, there. Yeah, and you've taken one combat dice of damage. So you've got no armor, which wouldn't help you anyway. Yeah, I, I may have just lumped myself into the window and bounced off. You may have done. Let's have a look. Ooh, I did. Okay, <laughs> Quite <so> badly. <laughs> your character's now defeated, so you need to lay him down and okay. remove your final health point. Oh, whoops. Yeah, diving through windows is kind of, you <laughs> it's, know... It's sketchy. You're going to break your neck. <laughs> You've certainly done some damage. <laughs> you know, I, I figured it might be a cool way to get away. I didn't realise I could actually hurt myself doing Well, it. there you go. But good lesson for everybody at home. <laughs> Kids, don't jump through windows. No, that's it, yeah. <laughs> Um, okay, so that's his go over now. Yeah, Okay. back to you. Okay, so um, I think what we need to do here, uh, Ariana is going to, um, hmm, I think, I'm just going to have a little nosy in oh. here. Sometimes your opponent just gets the loot, loot, loot. And I can tell you right now yeah. that this is not uh, what I was hoping. Oh, there's a grenade in there. There's... <laughs> There's basically a really, really terrible rifle in there, a really terrible rifle, the Outlands rifle. Yeah. Um, I just just don't want that at all. Um, I have got a combat stim in there, though, uh -huh. so I'm going to take that immediately because I can pump that into my leg for Free. Yeah. two extra actions, as it were. Um, and there's also a grenade. I'm totally having that. <laughs> oh, no. And the insult of that terrible weapon is going straight back in there. 
Yeah. Um, so that's the first action. Why do I get the feeling? Bink, 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 bink. Well, yeah, yeah, there is there is that too that I could help you out by uh, maybe throwing a grenade. Um, I'm blowing up my captain. Well, if I could I could throw the grenade and target the assassin if I move to that door. Oh. Um, and because I, I can throw the grenade as an effortless action, uh -huh. so um, I could do that, providing you agree not to shoot me in the following deal. <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah. So I'm gonna make my maneuver to the door. Uh -huh. I'm tough enough to take on this at Harvester, um, and I'm sure you might try and shoot him off me, maybe, um, if it happens. So um, I'm going to then use my effortless action to roll the uh, to, 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 to attack this. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to, I can just about, if I shifty that a little bit, I can just about hit that, um, okay. that uh, assassin. Um, so uh, the first thing I'm going to do, I have to roll to make sure that I hit, okay? okay. So um, fingers crossed here. Yep. Okay, yeah, right on the now. Okay, so now I can just actually roll for damage. I'm going to take the grenade, I'm going to remove that. Uh -huh. I'm going to put it back into the pouch, get rid of that. Wah! Okay, five dice, come on. Okay, that should do it. Don't let me down. Yes, Three. just, only just, but it takes out this guy here, basically. Thank now, you. Now, anyone standing next to that grenade, oh, I've just put the grenade in there, so I didn't check the counter, they do differ, but basically anyone standing next to that uh -huh. would get a, a three dice attack. Uh -huh. uh, anyone slightly further out, you're too far away. So this guy gets a one dice attack, actually, as well. So okay. what we need here, come on, don't let me down. Got to roll a six, no, didn't, wasn't, wasn't going to happen. Okay, so, uh, yeah, that's a pretty good result, I think. Uh -huh. Yep. Um, and that's how Rihanna spent out. All right. Uh, so I think what I'm going to do then is Jess will activate. Okay. Uh, he's going to move for one. Yep. To here. Mm -hmm. And then he will shoot this harvester. Very kind of for you. For three. Okay. Yes. Just because I made a deal. You did. And I will stick to my deal. <laughs> and uh, I will kill it. Yeah, that's enough. That's Excellent. fine. Okay. Brilliant. Well done. So... Uh, that's Lars, that's Jace. Okay, so that's... you're getting too fierce. My crew's out of here. Definitely. Okay. Um, so, what shall I do with Gak? Hmm. Okay. My first... I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm gonna, my first action, I'm going to try and persuade this civilian here to join me. Okay. Right. I'm, I'm close enough to the ship that I, I want to try and get her on. She's got a quite a high persuade level. Uh, I get two dice, so I've basically got to get a good score to do it. Mm -hmm. Um, I've so got. Is it meet or beat? Yeah, I've got. To, I've got to I'm beat it. Two. I've got to beat it. So yeah. You need to get three. Yeah, absolutely. So really, you want. Um, and I'm rolling two dice because um, Gak's got two uh, two skill points. Mm -hmm. um, captains are a lot more charismatic. They'll get a lot more dice. Yeah. But uh, captains throwing grenades over there. So let's. Um, that wasn't good enough. No. So. Um, I think he just cursed at her. <laughs> I think he might have done. Yeah. Uh, the quell the quell speaking third person as well. So he's probably a bit confusing. So um, let's pop him. So I'm just going to move him over to here and then yeah. use my effortless action as well. So that's Gax actions out. I think I'm pretty safe just out in the open there at the moment. Okay. Brilliant. Uh, so that just leaves me with back, and yep. back is just going to go for a double move. Okay. Double move the hell out of here. Just enough. To yeah. hit the ship. With the effortless, you're out. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That's good. So that's uh, that's uh, that's you. At least one of your characters out, and that's your final character. Yeah. Yeah. That's my final character. Okay. So um, all we got to do now is activate the um, the uh, the purge. So yeah. we'll bring those in. Um, still in cover me. So two harvesters at four. Okay. So let's bring those four. around over here. Yeah. One, two, and we've got a devastator over there. No Devastator. Uh, no Devastator arriving. The Assassin's already out. Oh, no, the Assassin got d destroyed, so yeah. we'll do that again. No Assassin. No Assassin, and the Live One is already out. So I'll, yeah. I'll roll for the Live One anyway. If I get a Live One result, which is unlikely, then I would have just teared down and picked something else. Uh, I see. Okay, so uh, activating the highest rank, it will be the Live One. Um, the Who's nearest here? character, uh, there's no line of sight. It probably, I think... Well, it's actually Lars won't, Lars won't count. Um, oh, right. Because he's defeated, he's going to ignore him. He's not. He's no longer a threat. Um, uh -huh. So I think it's probably going to be. Uh, well, there's thirteen. Yeah. To here. Okay. And then an additional four, so about fifteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay, that's pretty much the. Uh, I think uh, uh, Ganik here is just very, very slightly nearer. So he's going to make his first move to here. Uh huh. Can he see Ganik from there? Um. 
Yes. He's going to take a shot then. Okay. Shooting so, civilians. Uh, shooting civilians. Yeah, he will. He's, he's not going to discriminate. Um, okay, so the live one will roll three combat dice. So yep. let's do that. Uh, uh, and unfortunately, uh, that's enough to take Ganeek out. Uh -huh. Pop him over here. Uh, that's a live one done. The assassin's not on. Nope. There's a devastator. The devastator has got nobody to shoot at. Yep. So his linked actions will be moving towards the nearest character, which is going to be somewhere probably Jace here. Certainly, yeah. ganeek has gone. So He'd probably end up about here. Absolutely. Yep, yeah, you've got it. Um, and then it's just the harvesters, and these guys are well away. Um, tear guard would certainly be the nearest. So yeah. that they're going to actually make their way here. Uh -huh. One and two. Right. Okay. So, civilians, have yes. we got any left? We've just got Kiori. Uh, do we only? Oh, yeah. We have just over here. So, I'm going to roll roll for Kiori. Let's see, see what, what she she's going to do. She's going to hide. She's starting to get a bit... Uh, now, because there's no purge around, the mm -hmm. biggest threat really is me. So, she'll just manoeuvre and hide there. <laughs> uh, so, uh, yeah, and tuck herself just, just in behind that bit of cover there. There yeah. you go. Um, so that's fine for the for the civilian, uh -huh. and then of course that is the end of that round. Yeah. All right. Well, let let's call it at that because I, I want to fast forward a little bit because there's a couple of more things that happened at the end of a game, yep. which are quite interesting. So, sure. uh, I currently have Lars who has defeated, mm -hmm. and if I get Geus out, I then have to try and get Lars back to the ship. But how do I do that? Okay. So you've got you've got two options here. The first option is if. Um, Jace has got a, a medistim. Mm -hmm. You could literally just run through that door. Um, there's a window there. You could try and dive through the window to get to him. <laughs> you could basically use a medistim medi on him to stim him back up so right. he gets the two health and you can both make it out uh, okay. Right. Now, because of the proximity of the live one, chances are you'll lose Jace as well. Yeah. Uh, and then you'll be in serious trouble. Yeah. No, no, trust me, right now it's just get the hell out of Dodge, get on the so ship and get gone. Once the game's done then, what you need to do is you need to go through the extraction phase. And the extraction phase gives you a couple of options. Mm -hmm. You can either let Lars make his way off of the ship when he recovers, because uh -huh. he's been defeated, he's been knocked out, he's been hurt. Uh -huh. um, when he comes to, um, he can, he, he can, we, you can roll on the extraction phase and let him try and meet you at the rendezvous. He might get picked up by gangers or he might get uh, apprehended by the Galactic Corps. So there's a few things. Or you can choose the emergency teleporter, which not many people like using, but it... Press the big red button. <laughs> exactly. And then what you would do, you'd roll on that table and that will tell you what happens. There, are, there is a chance that he could be um, killed by that teleportation. A small chance. Uh, <laughs> Let's find out. More likely, something else would happen. So if I just uh, grab the extraction phase. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll roll here while you're looking. Okay. Okay, so extract away. Teleportation, see what happens. Four. Yeah, what do you get? The trader has survived the trip, but there has been an accident and they are in a poor way. They take longer to recuperate than normal and must miss their next mission. Oof. However, the character learns from their experience and gains one career point. Now, normally what happens is when a character is defeated, mm. uh, however they get back to their ship, they don't get, you don't get to level them up. Right. Yeah? Uh, but in this particular case, um, they, uh, they, they've come back. They're in a poor way, but they've kind of learned from their experience about this. Yeah. And they've, so you get to level your character up. So it's kind of a bit of a win, really. But yes. you will not be able to field that particular yeah but character. it kind of mitigates not being in the next one yeah it, it does a little bit yeah absolutely it does um and um you know you've always got other options you you know if a particular mission really needs a headcount and you haven't mm. got it you can always spend a few credits to hire um, a mercenary for just yeah. for one mission etc so there's always options you can do cool all right everybody tell you what get your comments in below tell us what you think of this round breakdown for core space we will of course be getting on to do some full let's plays so uh you know we will be back hopefully my traders don't get quite so battered in the next one. <laughs> uh, we'll get uh, on here. We'll see you again soon. We hope you enjoyed this Let's Play. Go ahead and check out our other content on screen now. And be sure to check out beastofwar.com for the latest gaming news and gaming Let's Plays. And while you're at it, why not hit subscribe and remember to ding our dong. Go on, you know you want to click it. Go on.